So if you turn around and let me get a nice picture of you. Video. A video, yes. A nice video of you. <laughs> Muff, come on. Please. Look at the shirt I'm wearing. Okay, no one's going to care. Turn your face to the camera. Man, I don't look good with glasses on. You look adorable. Glasses, no glasses. You're perfect. Happy birthday to, to you. Mommy. Happy birthday to Muff. Had how old are you, Muff? Two. Oh my God, you get on my nerves. Sixteen. Wait, wait. Hey, Cash hey, at me. hey, 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 Cash hey, 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 Welcome back, mail crew. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, so first of all, let's just give Muff a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Muff. Happy birthday. I'm so annoying. She says it all the time. Mommy, you're so annoying. Oh my gosh. I know. I know. I can't help it. So first of all, let's just all say happy birthday, Muff. Go ahead and put it in the comment section. And then I'm probably going to screenshot all the happy birthdays and send them to her so that she could see it and get excited and all that jazz. So guys, help me out. Help me, help me, help me. Wish her a happy birthday. She turned 16. All right. So obviously I'm doing a pedicure. This is her sweet 16 pedicure. So I kind of wanted to go over the top and like bling it out and make it really really fun but i can't because she won't let me she wants orange and she wants orange only she wanted a really really bright color because it's summer and because it's fun but also she wanted something to match her bathing suit we're going to miami for her birthday and of course if you're in miami you're going to have to go to the beach you're going to have to be really cute in a swimsuit so she wanted her swimsuit to match her toenails and so yeah, this isn't going to be a fun birthday pedicure with the bling and, and all that glitter and sparkle. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's going to be just some regular orange nails. <laughs> but they're going to be cute. All right, so you guys watched me kind of prep her nails, right? And then that blue stuff that I was putting on her nails, that was cuticle remover from Sally Henson. I got that from like Walgreens or CVS or something like that. You literally can get that anywhere. It's cuticle softener, guys. It's really good for people who have thick cuticles on their toenails. You might want to check it out. Also, Sparkling Co. has a really nice cuticle softener, cuticle remover that smells really, really good. The reason why I'm not using that one is because I have that at my manicure table. Because it smells so good, I use it on the fingernails. And then the blue one, it doesn't smell bad, but it really just doesn't have a nice, sweet, fruity smell. So I use it for the pedicure. So you guys are welcome to check out prices and see which one is in your budget. Again, the blue one was from Sally Henson, and the pink one that I'm talking about is from Sparkling and co and i'll leave both of them in the description box so you guys can check them out all right so listen y'all at this point i will pull out my exfoliating cream and i will do a nice foot exfoliation but it did not come in yet from amazon so guess what i'm using i'm using a brush you guys and i'm doing a manual exfoliation with the brush and i'm telling you it probably feels way way better and it's less messy than the exfoliating creams you guys know you put exfoliation cream on like if you guys do your face you wash your face you put the exfoliation cream on your face right you guys know it gets everywhere it's in your ears it's in your nose it's definitely in your hair it's literally everywhere and it takes forever to wash off well the same thing applies for the foot scrub you guys it gets everywhere and it's so hard to wipe away well this brush you guys first of all it's cheaper right it's recyclable you could use this brush over and over as long as you clean it but it feels amazing if you guys do not brush your skin try to brush like your arm or something it feels so good i promise you guys so i don't know if i'm going to use exfoliating cream or just continue with the brush i kind of feel like just continue continuing with the brush like you guys it feels so good <laughs> all right enough about the brush 
<laughs> all right so the foot soak and scrub and all that is over look how cool this tub is you guys look how cool it is it has a nice lid so now it's going to be the surface for me to paint her nails i'm going to leave the link to this foot spa in my amazon storefront check it out you guys check it out and i still have to do an unboxing video so in the unboxing video you guys will see me open the box and do all of that but listen i could not wait I could not wait. When I do my unboxing video, a couple things are going to be opened and used because I literally could not wait. <laughs> I couldn't wait. All right, now I'm going in with my primer, guys. The primer that I'm using is the one that I sell on my website, and you guys been loving this primer. Y'all been loving this primer, and I love it too. So I'm going to apply it to the toes, let it dry, and then I'm going in with the base coat. The base coat that I'm using today is from not polished you guys see that red top when you see the red top you know what time it is the base coat is from not polished so i'm going to apply that and then put it in a lamp and let it cure and don't mind my feet in the background you guys please there was nowhere else for my feet to go i tried to move them out of frame but then i was really really uncomfortable and it's so distracting but at least my toes are painted oh my god it's so distracting i'm so sorry all right, I'm going to let her nails cure in the lamp. While I do that, please take a moment to make sure that you are subscribed and hit that bell so you know what I upload next. And all right, here we go. So I'm applying the orange color from Not Polish. You guys, this color is so pigmented and I really, really like it. Muff actually picked it out. I was like, what color do you want? Can we do like really bright and fun? Can I do some bling? Can we do some glitter? Can we do some real birthday feet? And she was like, no, <laughs> no, I want orange. And I was like, okay, orange and a little bling. No. <laughs> I was like, damn, not even a little striping tape. <laughs> I can't do nothing. I can't, no fun. So, guys, so this is the extent of the excitement right here. Yep, this is it. Brushing on this orange polish, and we're going to call it a day. <laughs> guys, I don't know what to do to let her let me have fun with her feet. Like, she doesn't mind the pedicure, obviously. You know, she's sitting there comfortably, but. As far as me going ham and putting all kind of bling and just just having a good time, she just won't allow me to do it. So anyway, I'm going to cure her feet. Look at this lamp. Isn't that lamp dope? It's huge. I love it. And it's absolutely perfect for pedicures for two reasons. One, there's no bottom piece. You know how most lamps come with a bottom piece, so when you put your foot on it, it gets it kind of like dirty and nasty. I hate that. So this one does not come with a bottom piece. So that's the first thing why I use it for pedicures. And the second thing is so large, you guys. It's huge. You can fit both feet in there. I love that feature. But also, it's like 72 or 73 watts of power. So super strong. You could dry your toenails in like 30 seconds and like 30 seconds so i really really do like this i'll leave it in my amazon storefront you guys can check it out if you're in the market for a lamp now look at this orange y'all this thing is pop look at my feet oh my gosh y'all look at my feet look at my toes <laughs> i should have had like some really bright polish on them let them stand out even more <laughs> Oh my gosh, I got regular chrome powder uh, on my toes. So I did myself a pedicure too. I was like, shoot, we're going to Miami. I gotta have my feet looking cute. <laughs> but in this video, they're a little dry and crusty. So please y'all, I'm gonna blur it out. I'm gonna blur my feet out. <laughs> The focus of today is Muff's toenails. So by the way, I'm only showing you guys one foot just for the sake of the video so that it won't be too long. But the entire pedicure took me 45 minutes. And the reason I know that it was 45 minutes is because this beautiful foot spa that I'm using has a timer on it. So I think it's set to like an hour or whatever. And so by the time I was done, the timer said like 15 minutes left on there. So I was like, oh my gosh, it's adorable. It's large. It has a handle. It has an emptying spout so that when you're going to empty the water out of it, you just pull it outside by the handle and then open the spout and pour the water right into the grass. I think that's so, so, so cool. That's like a very key feature and why I purchased it. But also it gets so 
hot y'all this thing gets super hot i love it i love it just put some epsom salt in there and soak your feet at the end of the day um we all need a little pampering we all need a little pampering all right so as i'm lotioning muff's feet she's like oh my god mommy i didn't shave my legs the people on youtube are gonna see my hairy legs i'm like muff no one cares about your hairy legs. They're going to be looking at your beautiful toes. Look at those toes, you guys. Look how beautiful that orange just complements her skin. Come on. Ain't nobody worrying about these hairy legs. Nobody. And the lotion that I'm using, by the way, is the one that I sell on my website. It's really good for manicures. Keeps your hands nice and soft. But it's also really good for pedicures. Keeps your feet nice and soft as well. So, yeah. If you're in the market for a new manicure, pedicure lotion, well check me out check me out my link will be in the description box all right so i'm almost done here with her pedicure i think it looks amazing her feet look so soft her legs don't even look hairy at all unless you're looking super close and if you are stop it so anyway after the pedicure was done you guys she wanted to go to the store and we hopped in the car she asked me could she drive you guys i had to pull out the phone and record her so here we go in the parking lot that's a job all right so Wait a Which minute. Which one's the bank again? What? No. I always forget. Marvin, she asked which one is the break. I always <laughs> forget. Which one is it? <laughs> this one? Yeah, the big one is the break. So oh my so god. Why okay. Is the rug over there. So pull the rug out. Pull the rug out. Just. So why would you do that? Just pull it oh, off. Now I see it's like Easy Street. Yeah, it's like Easy Street. I can know now. Okay, be careful. Okay, so wait a minute. Oh my god. So when you put the keep okay, keep your foot in, on the brake. Wait. Delete that clip. <laughs> Gotta put my seat down on my <laughs> Alright, so this is what you're gonna do. Mommy, I said I don't want any structs, so I just wanna try by myself. Don't tap the gas. Here, just look right here. Just just look on this. Okay, oh my god. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, time. Okay, hold on. Pause. I'm wait. driving through the grass. Do you need me to get you out because of the, the truck is right there? Nope. <laughs> wait. Wait. How do I go this way? <laughs> Alright, pause. Pause. Be careful, Muff. I know. <laughs> the truck is right there. I look like I'm gonna hit the thing. You're not. Just cut the wheel all the way, like it yeah. Is. Okay, well then, keep going. I don't want to hit that table. Reverse. It's a hill, like it's a little ledge there, so you gotta give it a little gas to go over it, but uh -uh. not. I'm you want, scared of pressing the gas. You want me? Okay. All right, that's good. Okay, now turn the wheel. Great. Good job. Okay, yeah. now. Good job. Now, now. There's a little lip here. Yeah, I see. So. I'll drive it home. Ah, there's people. Okay, just get on your side of the road. What do you mean there's people? Of course there's people. All right, good job, Muff. Uh-oh. Good job. I'm driving the whole way there. You're not driving the whole way, but this is a good start. Oh, I can breathe. Man, I was holding my breath the whole time. Look at you. Good stop. Wait, I gotta come up. Good job. Good. Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay. Put me on the GPS. No, I'm not putting you on the GPS because you're not driving the whole way. You're probably going to get to another stop sign and then that's it. Put you on the GPS. My ass, you think when we get to all the cars, you're going to freak out. Good. You're doing good though. Boy, right. you better not come away. Oh my God, little boy, please stay out the road. Yeah. 
What he said? <laughs> Alright, so when you get when you get when you get to the stop sign, ma, then just stop, park, and he I didn't will stop. Me you can't stop. He didn't stop. Well, he was a bad example. Good job, ma. I think I can make this turn. You Okay. Go ma! <laughs> when you drive past big trucks or cars sometimes like the wind feels like it's pushing you over so just know that all right we'll I'm stopping um where do i stop at the gas station at that light by the gas station and then i'll i'll take over from there but you doing real good. Start stealing, stealing the car. No, you can't start stealing the car. What the hell is wrong with you? One hand. No, I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> but the speed and everything is good. You're doing real good. But the thing when you drive and you have to look out for everybody else, you have to act like everybody else don't know how to drive. And you're the only one on the road that knows what you're doing. If you think of it like that, oh. you'll pay attention more. No, no, no. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, oh that's, that's okay. Somebody's here. That's okay. Oh, muff. Muff. It's okay, fine. I'm, I'm pulling over. Oh, my God. Okay. That's enough pulling over. Okay. <laughs> made it. This is the farthest I've ever made. <laughs> You was almost about to stop. You was almost by the light. You want to go to the light just to say you made it to the light? I made it to the light. All right, I'll take well, over. Everybody see me get out of the car. I just drove, <laughs> y'all. You did really good, Ma. Give me high five. Give me five. Don't mind this, guys. It's coming. Okay? Can I have a five that you did so good? You don't look ghetto. Look how you look so cute. Look at them toes. Orange toes. Fresh pedicure. Let me stop because people I know live around. Here. Okay, give me five where I'm not. Go Muffin, go Muffin. All right, guys, it's time for our nail crew member spotlight. So today's spotlight goes to lovely Cayenne. I hope I said that correctly. Guys, the link to her YouTube page will be in my description box. Head over to her page and drop a hey girl, hey, and let her know Nikki sent ya. All right, guys, this is what Muffin's toes look like. So, so, so super cute. I love that orange on her skin tone. I love her toenails. Like she has like the perfect shaped toenails. I really, I don't know if it's just my daughter or if they're just really cute, but happy sweet 16 Muppet. All right guys, bye.